Here I am in an outline that is home to my best-selling book, Do Way Way More in Workflowy. I actually wrote my book from start to finish in Workflowy itself. If I expand the outlines for the first and second edition content, you can see the general sections. And within the sections, chapters. If I place my cursor in the first edition list and activate the word count script, you'll see I have a word count of 48,481. And if I place my cursor in the second edition list and use word count again, you'll see that this new material expanded my book by 8,817 words. Now, placing my cursor in the list title at the top, you'll see that my book has a total of 57,304 words. The point being that with the word count tool, you determine at what level you want to count words. If I want to get a word count for a specific chapter, I can drill down deeper. And if I place my cursor in the chapter on my Kanban calendar system, and in a heartbeat, I discover there are over 900 words in this chapter. This is an incredibly quick way of getting accurate word counts from any level down. No copying and pasting workflowy outlines into external word count tools. So that's one way of using the word count script, basically to get an overall count of a body of work. You might be writing a short story or an essay or a research paper or whatever, and you might want to keep the word count within certain limits even on a much smaller scale. For instance, here's a tweet I'm planning on sending out when the WFX extension is released. Of course, Twitter allows for a maximum of 280 characters per tweet. Any link you post, no matter how long, will take up a maximum of 23 characters. That leaves me exactly 257 characters to work with. And if I place my cursor in this bullet, you'll see that I've used up the maximum number of characters, 257, for this tweet. Perfect. Let me jump back to my book outline to illustrate another super popular use case for the word count script. If you spend a lot of time writing, then you'll know that one good strategy to help with your writing productivity is to set a goal to write X amount of words per day, maybe 1,000. So the word count tool will definitely help you to keep track of your writing goals. I'm going to show you two fantastic ways to keep track of your daily writing in Workflowy. To illustrate, I've tagged a couple of lists with a word count tag. Let me filter for those. And you can see that I've tagged lists from two different chapters of the book that I might have worked on today. Now, if I want to count all the children lists that are nested inside each of these tagged list titles, I do that by selecting these lists using Alt plus click. And then I activate my word count script. And quite easily, I can see that I've written a little over 800 words. Let me expand this list here. And let's say that today I only wrote one paragraph in this expanded list. I would tag that instead of the parent list. Also, let me explode this tag and refresh my tag search. And we're going to do another word count. But this time, instead of selecting my lists manually, I'm going to use the multi-select match script available in the power pack. This selects all of my lists filtered for. Now, let's do a count. And you'll see now my total word count has been adjusted. So once you're done counting how many words you've written for today, 
you can go ahead and explode your word count tags. Or alternatively, you can use the find and replace script to delete all of them in one go. And I'm going to replace all instances of this tag with nothing. And so we have no more word count tags until the next writing session, that is. And finally, just a quick show and tell of the second method to do a word count of what you've written today. All you do is a search for last changed 24 hours. This is what has been edited or changed in the last 24 hours. And now we can do a word count. And here we see just over 800 words. Now to install the word count script, let's jump to the WFX power pack list. Let's zoom into word count and then the script bullet. And I use the built-in shortcut WFS to tell the extension I want to install this script. And my shortcut to activate the word count tool is And we're good to go. In the next screencast up, we'll be looking at how to count your workflowy tags. Follow the link in the description box for that one.